G'day guys, M Tintam here. Um, I'm back after a long break. My holidays have started, and uh, I'm gonna push out as much tutorials as I can for lots of programs. Um, this tutorial is for texture mappings in Octane Render. Um, what texture mappings is is that they can manipulate uh, your images, um, mix, multiply, and invert them, and uh, yeah. So to get to the image texture mappings you have to go to right click add textures and then mappings and then you can choose uh, a variety of different ones there now um, I'm not gonna be covering all of them because other ones need more in-depth tutorials on them these are the basic or the basic ones so first we're going to uh, start here I'll probably upload the scene and unlike the other ones I'll remember for this one so the first one is your Cousin mix texture. Just like texture one, uh, just like the mix texture um, that we'll get to soon. Uh, this is also mix texture, mix texture, but it's uh, more for uh, RGB colors, which is uh, what I found out. Um, so let's just say that I have a, uh, let's just say a red and a blue. It will turn into a purple or a pink purple for this one. This can be very useful for um, obviously RGB spectrum uh, mixes and such. And you can also change the amount so I can have this one to green or this one to red or in the middle which is yellow. Very handy. The next one is the invert. Now obviously the invert is obviously the image inverting so right now it's set to white which means it's black where I could set this to black where this is white this is a this is currently set to an image so yeah next is mixed texture so what mixed texturing is is mixing your texture um, let me just connect this up so let's just say um, I put this in the middle. So right now I have two uh, image textures being mixed into this uh, node here. So this is the amount. So right now I can just have it set to this texture, or I can just set it to this texture, or if I put it into the middle, they will both be merged in together. And you can change the power and gamma just like you would with a normal image texture. Next is your multiply texture. Multiplying texture is pretty much how the multiply filter would work in various programs such as GIMP, Photoshop, Paint.net. It um, pretty much mixes your texture. No, it pretty much multiplies your image texture. So if I were to click this, and uh, I don't think there's a set parameters uh, um, to the amount. But um, yeah, it mixes the texture and you can set the gamma and power to each individual texture. So right now, let's just delete all, oh, let's, not, let's not delete them, but let's just create a new texture with these, generate, with these uh, textures here. So let's go to uh, Glossy. We'll be mostly focusing on the RBG spectrum. So, let first let's just create a let's get a generator out, turbulence, and let's get a a marble, and then we'll go first. We'll go to a mix material, and then we'll get our material mix. So, then we will get our we would get our mix material. Then we get our mix material. Okay. Connect these two up and connect that to the diffuse. So right now we have our turbulence. And let's just play around with those settings. Okay. Now we also. Delete this. Oh, wait, not delete that. We'll also connect that to the material. Put 
that's the monkey. And then we'll add a, uh, let's just say a glass. Mix that to the material. And this time we'll add a, a sin sign. And we'll also add a, this time we'll add a multiply texture. Put that to the uh, the wave, and we'll also have a uh, triangle wave. Put that to the mixed te multiplied texture, and put that to the RBG spectrum, and then we will put that to the mixed ma mixed material. So as of right now. We can adjust that, the scale to something we can see. And we can change the amount, so this is how it is with the specular. And right now we'll just change the transmission to something which is a bit more seeable. Try and put some dispersion up. Then change the amount back to the middle. And yeah. So that is pretty much the basics of your mappings and how it can be very helpful. Um, let's just get a good preview of that, just so you can see it. And I'll go into the other mappings uh, in a more in-depth very soon.